Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. This is Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. Today, I would like to deliver directly to you updates on upcoming Wii U and Nintendo 3DS titles. I would like to begin by discussing a few games being created by our third-party partners. Let's start with Sonic Lost World for Wii U, which we initially announced in our Nintendo Direct prior to E3 in May. One of the big features for this game is that Sonic will see through a variety of levels and explore massive mind-bending courses, vast underground tunnels, and colossal structures in the sky while running inside, outside, and upside down. With three speed levels to choose from, the players can control Sonic more freely, making the game more engaging for players of all skill levels. Other new moves, such as vaulting over objects and running along walls, plus unique color powers will take your gameplay experience to new heights as you rise against the deadly six. <laughs> Sega's Sonic Lost World will be available on October 22nd. There is also a Nintendo 3DS version of Sonic Lost World which will be available on October 22nd. The Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions of the game can communicate with each other through a local wireless connection. The Nintendo 3DS will allow players to create and customize radio controlled vehicles in Tails Lab and send them to the Wii U version of the game. The RC vehicles can then be used to support Sonic in the co-op mode on Wii U. Next is Rayman Legend for Wii U, which is the latest installment in UbiSoft's 2D action series. In a mysterious and vividly colored dream world, Rayman sets off on an adventure with his friends. While traveling between five different worlds, the player must save the Teensy and discover the secrets of each legendary painting. The game features a wide range of gameplay, including traditional Rayman-style action and rhythm-based stages. In Rayman Legend, the player using the Wii U gamepad will play a different role than the other players. All of the game stages can be played by up to five players. If you are playing by yourself, off TV mode allows you to enjoy playing with only the gamepad. As you advance through the story, many of the stages from Rayman Origins become available to play as well. Rayman Legends has a lot of other new content for players to enjoy, including the Kung Fu, Invasion mode, an online challenge. Also, in Rayman Legends, as you can see, you can play as Rayman in a Mario costume and Robot in a Luigi costume. <laughs> Rayman Legends will launch for Wii U on September 3rd.
Our next title is something we announced during our June Nintendo Direct at E3. It's Wii U download exclusive software called Art Academy Sketchpad. As we mentioned last time, this is software utilizing features from the upcoming Wii U version of Art Academy. With it, you can post screenshots of the images you create using the Wii U gamepad on Miiverse. Art Academy Sketchpad will launch in the Nintendo eShop on August 9. The Miiverse community for Art Academy Sketchpad will launch after the software becomes available in the Nintendo eShop. We would definitely like you to post your creations using this tool and surprise other users from around the world. We'll also see if we can find a way to highlight the great creations made by its users. We are also developing an art academy title for Wii U, which includes in-depth art lessons, but that one will take a little more time. Please stay tuned. I'll be back soon, but now the Nintendo Treehouse has more news to share with you. Thank you, Mr. Iwata. Eric Peterson from the Treehouse here with some updates regarding Wii U and Nintendo 3DS here in North America. Pikmin 3 cropped up on store shelves and in the Nintendo eShop a few days ago, and we hope fans are enjoying Mr. Miyamoto's latest creation. Today, we wanted to go into detail on a feature that lets you get a glimpse of what it's like to see the world from the perspective of a tiny Pikmin. Taking in-game screenshots in Pikmin 3 and posting to Miiverse is quite literally a snap. Just touch this icon to switch to camera mode, adjust the gamepad like a real viewfinder, zoom in with the left control stick, and snap a photo with the ZR button. You can then post the pictures you take on Miiverse. Now, if you're new to miniature alien photography, here are some tips. Hunt down some unique vantage points, like the highest position on a map or below a leaf. Remember that Pikmin under your command will stand tall, but idle Pikmin will sit down, or may even strike a pose for you. Whatever you do, don't fear those action shots. Toss a Pikmin at creatures or objectives just before enabling camera mode to capture dynamic actions. Be quick though, because if you snooze, you lose. Now, comparing Bullboards with Miiverse friends is great, but you don't have to stop there. We're asking fans of Nintendo on Facebook to get creative with some custom captions. Look out for in-game photos that we'll post on Facebook, and submit your best caption in the comments section. We'll be adding our favorite captions to the photos and sharing them for everyone to see. Pikmin 3 is now available in stores everywhere, and in the Nintendo eShop. Now, as Nintendo fans know, the year of Luigi is already well underway. New Super Luigi U brought the green to the flat screen earlier this year, but I'm sure many of you are wondering, what's next with the portable Luigi love? Don't worry, it's on the way, and soon. Mario & Luigi Dream Team for Nintendo 3DS is jam-packed with Luigi antics, and the sort of fresh ideas you'd expect from a game with his name in the title. This time around, the badges you wear during battle work in pairs, and can be combined for distinct results. By successfully landing attacks, you can charge up your badge meter, and depending on which badge you are using, you can earn HP restores, inflict additional damage to enemies, and a whole lot more. For the first time, you can also keep badge effects in your inventory, and there is more variation in how badges impact battle. But badges aren't the only way to pump up your arsenal. There are hundreds of gear items to acquire during your journey, from stat boosting overalls to accessories that will help your badge meter fill faster. Each one lets you customize the bros in different ways to fit your own unique playstyle. At first, the Brothers Mario start off with two slots each for gear items, but over time, more slots can be added for defensive gear, which can become more effective when you level up past certain benchmarks. This is called a rank up bonus, and it really changes up the structure of the game. Ranking up can lead to faster experience earning and extra stat bonuses that seriously power you up. For added replayability, try testing your skills on a series of expert challenges, like dodging 10 attacks in a row, for instance. By completing challenges, you can earn some of the most powerful gear in the game. So keep track of how many challenges you've achieved in this submenu, and try to unlock them all. Now this may sound really in-depth, but when you play the game, it's pretty easy to get into. For one thing, Mario & Luigi Dream Team isn't just a role-playing game. Its kinetic, action-heavy gameplay will instantly remind you of Mario's classic platformers. 
Dodging enemy attacks and dishing out damage requires quick reflexes, as well as expert strategy. It's definitely a challenge, but fear not. Should you fail in battle, a hint block will appear if you choose to retry. It'll give you tips and tricks on how to survive the next time around. But I hope for Luigi's sake, it doesn't come to that. He's sensitive sometimes. As we already announced, Mario & Luigi Dream Team is launching in North America, in stores, and on the Nintendo eShop just a few days from now on August 11th. The Pokémon series is soon making its debut on Wii U with Pokémon Rumble U, coming exclusively to the Nintendo eShop this month. Pokémon Rumble is a series that has previously appeared on Wii and Nintendo 3DS, and it delivers over-the-top action as players do battle against waves of toy Pokémon. In Pokémon Rumble U, you have the opportunity to befriend some of the Pokémon you defeat in battle. Different types of Pokémon have different strengths, weaknesses, and moves, so players will have to think of which Pokémon to use in the game's 70 stages. You can play as and do battle against every one of the 649 Pokémon that have appeared in the video games through Pokémon Black version 2 and Pokémon White version 2. And there are hundreds of moves to master. The game even supports cooperative multiplayer action for up to four players, making its frenetic action even more outrageous. Pokémon Rumble U also lets you bring the game into the real world with collectible NFC figures that let you access toy Pokémon with special traits in the game by scanning them with the Wii U gamepad. You'll be able to purchase 18 different figures exclusively through GameStop stores once Pokémon Rumble U launches. These NFC figures are not required for you to see everything the game has to offer, but are a fun way to interact with your Wii U. Pokémon Rumble U launches exclusively in the Nintendo eShop on August 29th. Now for a few Nintendo 3DS announcements. As owners of the handheld know, the 3DS is home to a number of cult classics that have been brought back to life on the small screen. Like Shantae, a Game Boy Color game notorious for being hard to find. And now, another hard to find title will soon just be a download away. It's called Summer Carnival 92 Rekka. And as the name implies, it was originally designed for a games festival that took place in Japan in the summer of 1992. The original cartridge itself is incredibly rare, and the game is known for pushing the limits of the Famicom system by keeping a smooth frame rate, even when a ton of sprites are moving around on screen. But more than that, it's remembered for being one of the most challenging shooters ever created. So if you think you have what it takes, look for it in the Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. You won't have to wait long. Beating this thing will earn you some instant gamer cred. There are a few more retro classics headed to the Virtual Console service on Nintendo 3DS, like the original NES version of Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong will do his own version of a barrel roll for old time's sake next week on August 15th. And just in time for football season, Tecmo Bowl will kick off this fall. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before you tackle Tecmo Bowl, Game Boy Color platformer Wario Land 3 will hit the Nintendo 3DS eShop soon. Wario's third solo outing was a big game for its time, with unique daytime and nighttime versions of more than 20 levels, scattered across an amazing world hidden inside a mystical music box. Master all of Wario's abilities and transformations to help him on his greedy quest for loot. It may not be a noble ambition, but you'll definitely feel good about it. Wario Land 3 launches on Nintendo eShop August 29th. Last but not least, Super Mario Bros. 3 will be available for download on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS from the Nintendo eShop later this year. We want to make sure everyone has the opportunity to experience this timeless video game adventure, whether you're revisiting the game or playing it for the first time. We have more 3DS games to get to, but first, here's a crash course on the recent Street Pass upgrade to Nintendo's own locations. Thanks to the August 5th system update for Nintendo 3DS, it is now possible to have Street Pass encounters with other players through Nintendo Zone locations, even if they aren't physically there when you are. Just as we described in our Nintendo Direct Mini a few weeks ago. The more Nintendo Zone locations you visit, the more opportunities you'll have to Street Pass with other players. Speaking of Nintendo Zone, we'll be distributing exclusive items for Animal Crossing New Leaf at all Nintendo Zone locations from August through late September. The first item is a pumpkin pie. You can get yours starting August 11th. Simply go to an official Nintendo Zone location, start up your Animal Crossing game, and then visit the post office, where you can ask about a present. Just make sure to save a slice for Isabel. Looking ahead to 2014, it's never too early to put your thinking caps on in preparation for the next Professor Layton game. The most recent Layton trilogy began with Professor Layton and the Last Spectre, which was followed by Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Now, the final chapter is coming to Nintendo 3DS in 2014, Professor Layton and the Azrin Legacy. Puzzle lovers and gentlemen alike can look forward to this one next year.
that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Objection! Whoa, 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 oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, as it turns out, Professor Layton will actually be appearing in two Nintendo 3DS games next year. The second one is Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Together, Phoenix Wright and the Good Professor are certainly a pair to be reckoned with. So please keep an eye out for this puzzling adventure in 2014. That's it for me, but we have even more to share with you today. Mr. Iwata has a few other things he'd like to talk about. Mr. Iwata? Next are updates on two upcoming games in the Legend of Zelda series. I'd like to start by sharing with you more information on the world that Link will explore in the Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds for Nintendo 3DS. Please take a look at the game's logo. Here you see the Triforce in gold, as well as another Triforce that looks like a shadow. The Triforce represent courage, wisdom, and power. And it is one of the key icons of the Legend of Zelda series. This shadowy Triforce suggests the existence of another Triforce in a different world from where Link lives. The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past, was known for its gameplay style, where the player must travel between two worlds. One is the world Link lives in, and there's another world, which features different landscapes and atmosphere. Of course, in this game, there is also another world. The world Link lives in is the same world as the link to the past, but the other world looks a bit different. Link must travel between the two worlds while transforming into the growing and moving within worlds. One of the key features of this title to progress his adventure. While many of the locations on the field may look similar to a link to the past, in both worlds the core gameplay elements, puzzles, and dungeons are completely new. Also, this game is set many years after Ganon was sealed in A Link to the Past. Compared to A Link to the Past, A Link Between Worlds takes place far in the future. That means that the main character is not the same Link from A Link to the Past, but an entirely new Link. There are still several months before the game is released, so we'll continue to share information as we get closer to launch. The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, will launch for Nintendo 3DS this November. Next is The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In this title, you must control the winds using the Wind Waker and travel across the open water, visiting various islands. People from different tribes live on these islands and you will encounter unexpected characters and unexpected locations. We hope you enjoy this open water adventure in a crystal blue world. At the same time, when you go to the various dungeons scattered all over the world, you can enjoy the series traditional puzzle solving gameplay. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker was originally released 
for Nintendo GameCube about 12 years ago. But we think that the combination of the unique gameplay mechanics from the original game combined with these new HD graphics feels like something completely new. The adventure has been vividly reborn on Wii U with unique characters, rich gameplay variety, and plenty of optional activities. Also, as we mentioned before, we have made some adjustments, such as fine-tuning the collection event in the last half of the game, faster sailing, quicker wind waker actions. With these adjustments, I hope you can enjoy the game all the way to the end without losing your sense of emotion. Regarding the series timeline, The Wind Waker takes place a few months before The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for Nintendo DS. This is the story about how Link and Tetra first met each other. If you played Phantom Hourglass before, we would definitely like you to try this form HD version of The Wind Waker as well. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD will launch this October. As you may be aware, we are calling 2013 the Year of Luigi. Already this year, we have launched Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for Nintendo 3DS and New Super Luigi U for Wii U. And there are several other games featuring Luigi that will be released before the end of the year. Now, I have another announcement to share about Luigi. Someone provided me with these new screenshots. Please take a look. These are screenshots from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS which were prepared by Mr. Sakurai. Luigi has been a part of previous games in the series, but we are pleased to say that he will be included in the new games. Our final announcement today is regarding Animal Crossing New Leaf, which was released in June. Animal Crossing New Leaf was released at the end of 2012 in Japan. This past June, it was released in Europe, Australia, and North America, and mayors are born on a daily basis as more people play the game. Using the Dream Suite and the Tropical Island tours, you might have more opportunities to interact with players from different countries. For those of you around the world who are enjoying Animal Crossing games, we've decided to open the new Animal Crossing series community on Miiverse for Wii U to let you interact with one another more easily. To celebrate this new community, the Animal Crossing New Leaf Town Hall Secretary Isabel has a message for everyone. <laughs> Hello, I'm reporting from Animal Crossing Plaza. Animal Crossing Plaza is essentially an Animal Crossing version of Wara Wara Plaza. In here, you can see various posts about what's happening in the town, other Animal Crossing related messages, news about calendar events, and messages from other Animal Crossing fans from around the world. Also, 
you can import the images you took in Animal Crossing New Leaf and design QR code patterns via your SD card or organize them in album. You can also post messages with those images. The QR code pattern posted can be directly scanned and used in your Animal Crossing New Leaf game too. Additionally, by selecting your favorite animal in the Animal Crossing Plaza, you can post about those specific animals or view posts only about them. If you want to see more posts, then you can jump directly to the Animal Crossing series community from Animal Crossing Plaza. This is a place for Animal Crossing fans from all over the world. We hope you enjoy this new opportunity to interact with each other. Animal Crossing Plaza will be offered as a limited time only service until the end of 2014 on Wii U. After this Nintendo Direct video concludes, it will be available for free to download. <laughs>